In this beginner lesson, we will have a look at importing audio and doing some easy edits. In the previous lesson, we were able to do a recording. In this lesson, we will look at how we can import other audio, for instance, music. There are a few different ways that you can import audio into Hindenburg, and there is no one way that is better than the other. It's really up to what you fancy. The word used for adding audio is import. So we do not open audio, that is reserved for opening sessions, but we import audio. Let's do that then. Press the import button and up pops the file menu. Choose a file to import and click open. We can play back the audio by pressing the spacebar. Notice the white line moving along? This is called the playhead. The playhead takes its name from the old tape recorders that had a stationary playhead. The tape would run across the playhead. It's really the same that is going on here, but instead of having the tape move over the playhead, here the playhead moves across the tape. So the playhead will always play the audio below it. To illustrate the audio, we have waveforms. They are not only pretty, but also very useful for navigating in the audio. If we zoom out a little by clicking on the zoom tool, we can get a better overview. Let's try adding another piece of music. This time we will drag it directly from the file manager. Notice how the levels are automatically set. We will get back to how the automated levels work in a later lesson, but for now, just think of it as your friendly audio engineer doing a great job. Let's try to import one more music track, but this time we will do it to the clipboard. Think of the clipboard as a storage for your clips, so you don't clutter up your workspace with audio that you might not need at the moment. To import audio, we can either right-click in a group and choose Import, just as we did before in the workspace, or we can drag audio directly from the file manager. It's really up to you what you find the easiest. Once it's in the clipboard, we can play it by hitting the spacebar. When we need it in the workspace, we simply drag it in. Let's focus a little on the audio we just imported. The correct name for this blue square is a region. The region is not actually the audio itself, but a representation of the original audio, or a region of the audio, if you will. When editing in Hindenburg, you do not actually edit the original audio. This is called non-destructive editing. This will make a lot more sense as soon as we begin editing the audio, or region, as it is. The height of a region is its level, volume or gain. It just means how loud it's playing. The length of the region represents how much of the original audio that will be played. At the moment, it's the total length of the original audio but that will soon change. If we click on a region, it turns from blue to orange. This indicates that the region is active. We can do a number of things to an active region. We could, for instance, move it. Or we could trim the ends. As we trim, you can see that the original audio is always intact. See? non-destructive. Last thing that we will try with the region right now is to adjust the level, also called the gain of the region. This will overrule the automated level we looked at before. If you would like to return to the level that the nice audio engineer has set for you, 
we can drag the gain handle until it snaps and the tooltip turns green. With non-destructive editing and a sound engineer holding your hand, not much can go terribly wrong. If we would like to play the first music piece, then we will need to move the playhead. This is done by left-clicking anywhere in the workspace. Notice that the mouse cursor has taken the shape of an eye beam. Think of it as the steel beams used in iron construction or maybe the shape of a rail track. Anyway, when the cursor has the eye beam shape, you can click anywhere in the workspace to place the playhead. And once you have the playhead placed, you can play the audio from that point. One last thing before we wrap this lesson up, let's split the region in two. Once the playhead is placed where you would like to split the region, we press the split icon. Now the region is broken into two separate regions. The rather handy shortcut for this is B, B for break, maybe. In this lesson, we have covered the following. Importing audio, setting levels, trimming the region, moving the region, and splitting a region.